Hey guys, welcome to our Divinity Original Sin 2 4-player co-op playthrough. This is... Boy, oh boy, this is gonna have a learning curve. It's gonna be a total clusterfuck, because it's, it's gonna be four people cooperatively playing a CRPG, narrative-driven, tactical RPG, blah, 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 blah. A lot of learning curves involved in how to navigate and cooperate and communicate and so on and so forth. It's very different from most playthroughs we've done before. You may have seen a hint of this if you watched me and Wander play Divinity Original Sin in the first place. Uh, now we brought along, now it's still me and Wander again, but now we brought along his fiance Shell, and Birdcatcher is in here, in here too, so it's the usual group for four people, for four person groups, the same people in fact that we play our Dungeons and Dragons 5e Grave of Man role, role playing campaign thing, which if you haven't checked out yet, you probably should. So it's the same group that's used to doing RPGs together, but this, not usually in a video game, it'll be interesting. I'm talking to you here because there's character creation and there's origin stories and stuff, and I just wanted to give you guys a chance to see the actual intros for each character, to introduce you to them really quick, because they're the people that we're going to be playing with in the game. So these are, you're going to see the template versions. So the, the appearances of the characters in this little video here is not going to quite match what they look like in the game, because we're all going to get to customize the character to some extent. You don't have to pick a... If you, don't, if you haven't played this game yet and you don't know, you don't have to pick a background story. You can play as a generic character, and then that, that you can make up your own background and make up your own role-playing stuff. We chose to go with the origins that exist within the game, so we went with that. So let's start with my character, first of all. I'm playing as Fane, the undead. Oh, don't stare. How would you look after eons in some ghastly crypt? To your people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. Yet when I emerged from my completely unjustified imprisonment, I found them gone. Our culture forgotten. Any trace of the world I knew all but obliterated. I must even hide my true face beneath an ever-shifting mask for fear you savages will attack me. That is how I wander this strange world. Trying to uncover the truth about a history you primitive people never even knew existed. This is going to be interesting. In the last game, you could become undead as a trait. And it was kind of like a joke, but or a challenge mode of sorts. You became a character that was healed by poison, but damaged by uh, anything that would heal people normally. And I think it also might have made you less charismatic or something like that. I don't remember the exact effects, but I, I used it in the last campaign. And it was amusing being able to drown myself in poison and stuff like that, but also being very vulnerable to holy magic and healing and stuff like that. So I went ahead and picked Fane this time around to fully embrace that. I'm going to specialize in summoning magic and geomancy, poison, that kind of stuff. It'll be interesting. So in order to function in society, these people have to mask themselves because they're clearly unholy, undead abomination creatures, or at least that's how the outside world will see them. So they have to disguise themselves. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. One, just actually disguise yourself, as in, like, covering your face and whatnot. But there's also a way of getting a magical mask that disguises you as various other races, as long as you can keep it on and everything like that. So you, you do what you can. Aside from that, let's see here. Wander is playing as the Red Prince. And I know less about the other characters, because they're not the ones that I chose myself, but he's playing as this lizard guy. And I believe he specializes in uh, transformation spells. I forgot what, exactly what it's called. And uh, pyromancy, fire. Famed, of course, for my unique red skin and unparalleled skills as a general of the House of War, I, the Red Prince, was raised within the vast palaces of the fabled Forbidden City. I was destined to become the next emperor. But my ambitions suffered a bit of a setback when I fell from grace for cavorting with demons. Now, 
I'm exiled and hunted by assassins. But I assure you, I remain undaunted and as determined as ever to claim my rightful throne. Next up, let's see if I can find Bird's character. Yep, he's playing as the female human character. He is specializing in lightning and, yeah, electricity and water magic, which could relatively straightforward Bioshock combo, wanting to put down a puddle and then electro electrocute it. It works. My life I've been a performer, a musician, beloved and celebrated by all. But I have a secret. I'm also a playground for sprites and spirits and worse. The voice that rings inside me now is darker than any that came before. Almost caused a bunch of my fans to rip each other to pieces. <laughs> but you can trust me. I've got this under control. Step one, find out who or what is trying to take control of my mind. Step two, make it sorry it ever tried. Humans are straightforward enough, not a lot to talk about that, that with them. I guess I didn't cover it before as much, but the, uh... Yeah, there's the dwarf character, Beast. Where is it? I lost track of them completely, didn't I? There we are. I, I didn't talk about them as much, but the, uh... The, the, uh... The lizard folk characters are treated as actually being, like, the nobles and the, like, sort of the uptight, irritating people, which is a bit of an inversion. Speaking of inversions of character types, though, we have Sebel. Yeah, look at that talent over there. Corpse Eater. I actually forget what, what, uh, she oh, Shell is specializing in necromancy and summoning. So both of the summoning type things. So we both have summoning, but that's, there's only so many types of magic. And yeah, nobody really wanted to specialize in more physical related skills. That's really, wow, you really can just make the character keep spinning. Like, I, le I let go of it and it kept going. That's a surprise. So yeah, <laughs> talking about inversions of characters, the lizard folk behave more like what you expect elves to behave like in most fantasy settings. And in this fantasy setting, the elves, uh, had the ability to eat corpses in order to absorb their memories, which is a really gruesome thing that contradicts what you expect elves to behave like. That's a trip. I used to be a slave, kept under the thumb of the master, the bastard that made me hunt down my own kin. How did he do that, you ask? With the living scar you see on my cheek, this horror that takes no more than a song sung by Master Dearest to control my very thoughts. But now the tables have turned. I broke my shackles and when I finally find him, I will make the master sing a very different kind of song. Huh. Both female characters have this storyline about somebody having some sort of mind control over them. Interesting. So those are the four characters that we chose out of a list of six total. There's one for each race, human, elf, lizard, dwarf, undead. And then two for human, and specifically male and female. It usually happens that way, I suppose. So you can play as those characters. Those are the ones we played as. There's two other ones that we didn't pick. Or you can just pick somebody that, that doesn't that doesn't have a background, and you can just role play a blank slate character if that's you, what you want to do. But we're all curious to see how these characters and things interfere with each other. I'm very curious to see how this is going to play out because the game itself is a cooperative four-player game, but it promises some level of competition. It claims that at some point our our uh, incentives, our motivations might clash with each other and we may actually be brought in direct conflict with each other. And it even claims that at the end of the story, there may be only one winner out of the four of us. So I'm curious to see how that plays out, but I'm of course not interested in spoiling myself. So that's really all I know, but I'm very interested in seeing how exactly that manifests for our playthrough, because that could get weird. 
Um, as far as the world itself, we live in a world where source is a feared power. Source magic is banned, and as is always the case between the previous game and this one, the characters you play as are sorcerers that are imprisoned and captured for what they have done and are facing a sentence. So this game's going to start off with us being on a ship after being four separate people all captured and suppressed for our source powers, which I'm sure are probably going to ultimately play into our destiny of actually doing what needs to be done in the storyline. Being a sorcerer is probably going to be quite important. Let the clusterfuck commence. of source magic. And like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill God Woken. But instead, I became part of their story. Okay, so immediate rule. Uh, immediate rule. We need to stick together for this one. Yeah, because well, okay. on the nose we are for game going to have... original sin to open with evil apples. By the way, has any divinity game story ever made sense? No. Apparently, this is the best written divinity. It this makes sense no, moment good. to moment more than it does across the full game. Last what time. What the hell is going on here? That's. I don't know. This is us. This apparently. is new. Hello. Yeah, nice. this is new. The last one did not have this. Yeah, one. this is very Aren't different. You a curious sight. You me? If I'd had a mask to hide my bones as well as yours, maybe I'd still be walking around today. Oh, I think we're all talking to an NPC separately. <laughs> Yeah, so our characters actually have their own dialogue. Yeah, all of our characters are talking to each other? We're all, I'm talking to a skull. There's a skull on that console over there called the Grinning Skull. And oh. it's talking to oh, me. Oh, right. Oh, and it's if you click him, me. you can see the ear. Uh, oh, yeah, this is and like we can uh, Oh, I see, this is a Jedi role. Oh, are you guys listening to my talk right now? Yeah, no, we can. I mean, we can. I'm oh. going to now, though. Yeah. Middle. He's looking at me like, where'd you get that? Wait, there can't hold be many on. Curious Shell's like having a tech problem. Let, let's fix that. So, Shell, what's your problem? Uh, oh, there we go. There we yeah. go. I just Middle click, zoom in, zoom out with uh, scroll in. Oh, I know, I know. Okay. Uh, oh, that's weird. The WASD is used for panning your camera. Yeah. Well, that's it's pretty normal. click to move. So, okay. Shell, click on Keith so you can listen in. We're going to need to make sure that we're always doing this. Okay, I'm listening yep. in. Off without a hitch. So it's, it's curious about something on my body. It's like, where'd you get that? There can't be many curios like that in the world. Let's look at the... I'm going to look at the skull inquisitively. Is it normal for human right remains to talk? Ha! <laughs> Fresh out of the crypt, are you? No. We are... abnormal. It's why we hide in the shadows. So can you guys hear him? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. When he speaks? Actually, yeah. it sounds like or, a lady. Yeah. Or walk about like you still had flesh on your bones in your case. You even have yourself a silky mortal voice. A few options here. Um, let's boast that you can make others hear the voice you want them to hear. You are that powerful. So powerful that you've been overpowered by clowns in red capes and a glowing necklace. Well, color me impressed. Still, you'd best keep that mask on. The living don't take kindly to seeing their future staring back at them. 
Yeah, because you guys have seen the little portrait over there, what I actually look like. Do you look like? Yeah, yeah, that's what he actually looks oh, like. Oh, well, yeah. You know, I'm going to be honest, looking at your character, I would not trust you any more than if you had a skull face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like you're ready to take over like the necrotic. Uh, Whoa! Are you, you like like some kind of necrotic army? You look got like a different head facing each direction. Right, it's like the head necromonger. Yeah, if oh. it, if it, if it, how do I zoom in on you? Bird, then you're down. Down. Oh my so, god! So my front yeah. face is a human face, left face is an elf face, right face is a reptile face, and back face is a dwarf face. I have all four races wow. on my head. That's wild. I'm a weird ass character. And, uh, that's... Man, that's really cool looking. Uh, sure. so I bet I can't talk to the skull. Wait, can I? Who are you? Nobody. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. we can't, we can't speak just, to them. Or the yeah, I think your character just made fun of the skull, yeah, though. No yeah, yeah, my character yeah. made fun of the skull. <laughs> uh, my character, yeah, she was just like, there's no flesh on that. I can't use it. Yeah, we will all insult them. This is anyway, gonna I'm gonna start talking to Magister Swain. Okay. okay. Gather round, class. Still, not the worst bed I've ever slept in. You guys all in? Not yet. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. You, by the way, you don't have to be nearby to listen in. You all can you just click on the click portrait on. of Wander talking yeah. with the little quote bubble. Oh, okay. I've never yep. played a Divinity game, so I don't know. In the right. meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Let's see. Uh, muse that by the room shape, you can tell that you're on a Lucian-class frigate, but why? Why? Because we're at sea, of course, and have been for several days. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits. And if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. You pull at the thing around your neck, futil futilely. Demand to know why she collared you. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. You recall the power building inside you. The stare that enthralled a demon. Unleash it. Currents of magic surge inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking. Only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. My, look at the concentration on your face. All will, but no result. There you have it, see? The collar's function. It neuters you, of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Is that it? To my chat, we can oh. murder her without anybody knowing. No. Oh, it's so. Wait. So is dialogue yeah, over? Yeah, it's over. Weird, yeah, it's it over. didn't yeah, cut me out. Like there we go. Oh, yeah, that, that's really weird that we don't have the uh, end huh. thing. Oh my god. They've contextualized this is really, the really narrator hard. as a narrator. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna boost the voice. <laughs> and yeah, the narrator now. Um, I'm like, a lizard has, now. Like, speaks. Oh, you can. Whoa, what the hell more? happened? To yeah, you? so Keith yeah. has a mask that you lets him be any race. Not. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so he is, he is lizard changer. form. The narrator yeah. just told me. not any prettier, yeah. but it works. The narrator Where said something has changed. Right you are here. you, but more. You are another, but not. You look to your hands, your belly, your feet. Flesh you don't know, molded into unfamiliar shapes. You cradle your aching head, where another's memories and wisdoms mix with your own. Oh. So th I'm wearing somebody else's face like in Game of Thrones, actually. <laughs> yep. Like I have somebody else's history. Your fingers trace a line from your head to your face feeling not the creases of the mask, but the porous surface of new skin. You lower your arm, blink twice, and step forward in this new guise. That caught me by surprise. And I didn't know I was triggering a story moment, but I was. That's cool. Yeah, apparently. apparently. Yeah, because I, I transformed into a lizard person in that moment. I could be a dwarf. The only dwarf of the party. Did the oh, oh, I have, like, skin man, everything. Balancing this audio is wild. <laughs> yep. All okay, right, yeah, so... 
This is not going to be an auto uploader, uh, at least until I get my bearings straight on this yep. <laughs> recording. There's been a murder here. Hey, I'm the only dwarf uh, so of the party now. The By the way, before we get too far, if there's a dot 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 over somebody's head or on their their box, that no means they're talking to somebody and you no want to listen in. Yeah, uh, just in case I'm you aware. want to wear. Okay. Um, everyone oh. else has had a chance to talk. I'm going to talk to this person. Oh, I haven't talked with anyone either, but oh. Okay. Oh, all right, you have it. Okay, you can get the next NPC then. Okay. Everybody listening? Continue. Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and followed the source that did this. Let's see. Take your leave. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately abandoned the conversation. <laughs> um, inform her that she wasn't this man's protector. She was his captor. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own source. If, I just want everyone to take a moment to appreciate that Magister Water's portrait is bizarre. It looks like she's wearing like big old like Kim Jong-il glasses underneath that hood. Oh, you're right. Doesn't it look exactly looks like, like that? Demon Soul's pancake face lady. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. We'll find like out who did this. Speaking of... She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. I was on sedatives, thank you very much. You're one of the only <laughs> indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Don't challenge me. Um. Maybe I can. Not with that collar on you, aunt. Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Ooh, ooh, I'll take gold coin. Uh, but I can also say price is considerably higher than that, and then maybe get two gold coins. Not in here, it isn't. Damn it. You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. And we need to boost that voice volume even higher. <laughs> there Attitude with reference minus five. <laughs> I, cl I clicked on it. I was going to inspect, and then I opened. So can we actually uh, go in the room and inspect this? Wait, did you just uh, desecrate yeah. that corpse in front of everybody? I mean, I touched it. Yeah, there's a corpse, there's a but if you do collar, it... No, no. It's like, hands off. If you if you hover over something, you can see there's like a red icon over it. Yeah, and you can also hold all you. Oh, Bert, yeah. uh, Keith, Keith, you hold, what? Best helmet in the game. Already got it. What? Oh, you got a bucket. <laughs> Congrats. Oh man. Are you are you are you pleased with yourself? Because you seem very I, pleased with yourself. I am the king of clean. <laughs> wow, that's Mr. Clean. Or as he's known here, um, Prince Kleenicus the Third. Yes. So, so I'm just rotating the ni the Nightmare Necromonger mask around, but in, in my portrait shows what people think I look like right now. <laughs> oh yeah, because you, like, you look yeah. like I'm this super clean, regal-looking dwarf character mm -hmm. now. So we're really just raiding the place? Yeah. So well, I mean, buckets... what Wander is. Yeah. Well, I mean, buckets give you armor. We want bedrolls actually. Bedrolls give us uh, let us heal. Outside of combat, so I am going to. I'm just going to grab everything available. Um, yep, I have a better huh. in my inventory now. Oh, hey, yeah. here's another one of the main characters, uh, Ethan Ben Mezd. Uh, hang on, I'm in a dialogue right now. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah, you gotta let us know. He, he just clicked on a, on a oh. dog. A dog? Oh, but I can listen to dogs. Yeah. Wait, alright, you wanna come over and talk to the dog? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I was doing it as a dog? gag, but... Yeah, there's a dog like, over here. Yeah, you can just talk to the doggo, and then we'll actually be able to get, like, a real I dialogue out of him. Shell, it's, where's, where's it's over here. Oh, the dog, oh, the dog is with him. Oh, sorry. Yep. I see the guy now. <laughs> Doggy! Your kind always hung closest to so he goes, sniffle, 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 sniffle. What? Okay, so the dog is just like, you, sorcerer, blood, no. Go bark. Well, um, that, you, that, you gotta that, like voice act it. Like you gotta get into the into the character. Like what if oh, you no, were no. that dog? 
I can voice act it, but it actually oh, already sweet. read it out to me. Should we voice act the first no, lines? No, 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 no. Because... I, I didn't realize that the dogs... That, what was the voice acting of a dog? It was actually a lady dog. It, it was oh. a lady dog. voice acting was genius. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, there's an awkward I mean, thing okay. about how you can only join conversations what after they've started. I'm and... robbing this kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can only okay. join dialogues after like the first sentence has gone through, unless your reaction yeah. time is superhuman. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I'll read it out the next time, but she's just like, Ruff. It still yeah. won't play either Sorcerer, way. It's, uh, it's one of those things where the voice act, the fully voiced game only fully works in split screen on that specific part. Although, in important story moments, we'll all be ripped into a cutscene together, so it won't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. We're just going to miss generally the introduction. I got a minor It'd be nice if we could actually on? flip an option. Hey, we got a recipe. I learned recipe. Yeah, I accidentally oh. wound up talking to a story NPC very briefly. It was super <laughs> duper unimportant. You, you, but, you got um, the door open just now, though. It was literally a guy being like, "The magister will see you now." Well, yeah, yeah. You and you gave him, you got permission to go through the door. How? All you I did was walk the, up and tr attempt he, to open he, the he door. He said he could go through the door, and he opened it for you, and then you ran away. <laughs> Did I talk That's with because Ethan? I didn't want to. I didn't want to accidentally break the like the, the the game for anybody else. Well, the door's open. Yes. Literally, all I did was walk up to and attempt to open the door, and then I did. And then an NPC was like, "Hello, how you doing? Would you like to get past this oh. door?" Now, and Sebel and Wander are both talking to people at the same time. Oh no! Because because um, Shell didn't announce that Shell and Wa and Bird both didn't announce that they were talking to people. I'll talk to no, I'll no, talk no. to one. I, I actually said, "Hey, look, this is Ephon." <laughs> I like. Well, I, you you said that a while ago. Though. Yes, and now I'm back to him. I'm doing well, nothing but announce. trying to listen for people starting conversations, and I can't tell when anyone's starting them. <laughs> Un unfortunately, I just got forced into this conversation. Can I, I didn't exit talk to out them. of I just, this? I, you can yeah, say you, goodbye. Oh. I unfortunately it forces me to continue. Okay. Well, I mean, you can just say if it's anything important. I'll just sit here and wait patiently. <laughs> okay. I, I just I'm worried. I I don't know how to proceed. Just press one. Just continue. Okay. I am apparently in an important dialogue that I can't get out of. Okay. okay, I just walking near these guys. Oh, thanks for the camera angle there, game. I'm really enjoying this view of yeah. like, uh, the edge of the map. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys all in? Yes. Yep. yes. Okay, so I'll read the dialogue. Standing in the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous looking magisters. They keep their crossbows trained upon her as she is being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella. Oh, that's it then. We're done. Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Good God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer, go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Uh, well, these are options. <laughs> do you guys, I mean, you guys should have input on this stuff. What do we want? Do we want to try a mutiny early, uh, lapdog it, or... Why don't you ask what she meant okay. by, there are others whose lives must end? Address the sorcerer and ask her what she meant by, there are others whose lives must end. It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. I'm just about to create a scene. Subdue so, her, men, quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. In this oh, the way from the cutscene. Uh, yes, she is. Okay. Okay. Wendigo knows, Wendigo knows how to party. Oh. Uh, that was combat. Own. That was combat. <laughs>